Hello, everyone. I'm George. Uh, I'm, uh, I, would like, I would like to discuss with you about the WebKit-based browser for AmigaOS 4 initiative, because it's something uh, new, and uh, we still uh, we just started on that. A few words about me. I, I'm a software engineer. Is that visible over there? Yeah, I think I hope so. I'm a software engineer. For a long time now, I'm a beta tester for Amiga OS 4 uh, and the hardware for, um, uh, from ION, Amiga X1000, X5000, and of course the A1222. I'm, uh, I'm developing a few uh, of my own uh, applications. I'm porting applications, and lately uh, Hyperion released uh, the, the work that I did behind the SDK for Amiga OS 4 with a lot of changes in there. But uh, today we are going to, to talk about what is the WebKit, why we need it, why we choose WebKit and not something else uh, for what we want to achieve, uh, what is the initiative, the team, and uh, some challenges that we are going to uh, face in the future, the achievements that we have so far, and the future plans. So. What is the WebKit? The WebKit is uh, an engine that you are using uh, in any application to render uh, the we a website or the JavaScript to run the JavaScript uh, for your computer. It is the core engine of any browser. And uh, this is needed for you to communicate with uh, the world. Uh, the user, when he clicks uh, a link in a website, that link, that event, goes to that engine. Okay, there are different engines out there. The engine that, the Gecko, that is the engine that uh, Firefox is using. The engine that um, Chrome is using, which started as uh, a fork of the WebKit. And the WebKit that is right now uh, used by Safari and a lot of other uh, browsers in um, the Linux world. And why WebKit? Actually, my... Um, what I want to do is to, to use as much as possible the Amiga OS uh, system and my uh, Amiga One uh, machines. And for example, this presentation was created on one of them uh, and it's running on Hollywood, right? No, no matter the, 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 the laptop that I have here. So uh, the WebKit is uh, one of the uh, solutions that we currently have and I will uh, tell you why we choose that. There is, of course, uh, Firefox and uh, Timberwolf, the old uh, browser that was ported by the Freedance uh, Brothers, but this is quite old right now. Their work is not uh, quite updated. They, um, um, it, it is obsolete. And to be honest with you, I tried to, to uh, compile it. I succeeded to compile it, but it, it fails. It doesn't work quite well. So Firefox is not an option. There is a uh, pale moon, a, a fork from Firefox that keeps the same UI like the, the old versions of Firefox, but they dropped the PowerPC uh, support from that something like three or five years ago. Uh, and also uh, there is the Arctic Fox. You might heard about that because uh, recently it was uh, compiled for the Linux for PowerPC. And uh, this is something that we might want to, to consider for the future, but uh, uh, for me, it doesn't make, uh, make it as a viable uh, solution for, the, for us. The Chrome engine doesn't support 32-bit systems. It doesn't have uh, support for PowerPC systems, so it's not actually something we could use. Are you in uh, like the editor for this? Is that the PowerPoint? Sorry? Hollywood. What's that? Hollywood. Can you change it to black text? No. Okay, because we can't read it at all. At all? We cannot read it from here at all. Yeah. No, 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 unfortunately I can't change it. Anyway, either way I'm going to, to tell you about everything. Let me keep that as a reference for me. <laughs> Ah, okay. Let 
Acme. Oh, that looks nice. Is it much better? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for that. Okay. Is it better? Yeah. Great. So, uh, there are some browsers out there that use their custom engines, right? Uh, but they need to maintain, continue maintain, and that's uh, difficult for uh, a browser to keep up. So we choose not to go that way. And we choose finally the WebKit because there is a starting point for us, and that's the Wayfarer uh, browser that is uh, running on Morphos for the last uh, couple of years. So it is a good thing to start with. So, uh, okay, this screenshot is not quite visible right now, but how the initiative started. Uh, that screenshot has, uh, starts from, uh, it is from um, uh, Amigans.net forum. And this is from uh, a question Hans de Ruter uh, did two years ago. Anyone tried compiling the latest WebKit? If so, how far did you go? Uh, so that's the one of the questions that our initiative tries to, to answer. Even if we don't succeed to have a WebKit uh, compiled and uh, ready to, to use, we want to uh, say why and document everything uh, and give it to the people in our community. So our goal is, of course, to port the WebKit to Amiga OS 4, create a common development environment for everyone that will be able to use on any operating system. For that, right now, we choose the Docker uh, infrastructure to, to, to create that environment and um, gives uh, anyone the opportunity that if you want to, to go and experiment or try to fix something, you have at least the environment to, to base on. Document everything online. We started with uh, the project on GitHub and uh, we use the wiki uh, section of uh, our repository and we started already to, to document everything there. Make our tools better. If there is a need that we need to uh, update the C library, or the, uh, there is a need to update the GCC compiler, if there is a problem and that is a barrier for us to have the WebKit, we are going to, to fix it as much as we could, uh, as much as we can. And if we don't, uh, if we are not able to do it, we are going to push the guys that need to fix it. Uh, keep everything open source, of course, and work as a team for moder uh, with modern uh, tools. The team, right now, we are four people. A small team, but quite flexible. You see the, the people from uh, our team right now is Ryan Dixon, Paul Koster, Andreas Palmate, and myself. But we also have the... Uh, I, I talked with Hans De Ruter and Jacek Piksek to support us or guide us in things that we need to, to address. And the, uh, both of them uh, agreed to give us uh, as much support as possible when we will need it. And of course, anyone who would like to help, please, this is my email. You can contact me at any time and we can discuss how we w can work together. The challenges. I have never been uh, before working on any uh, browser. Okay, so, so I don't have that experience and the team doesn't have the experience. So one of the challenges is to learn uh, as much as possible about this kind of uh, thing and catch up with what is needed. Create the first working prototype, if possible, by the end of the year, sooner, we will see, which for, for, ma for us is, can we have a simple window with no buttons, with nothing, and display one hard-coded website? That's, that will be uh, perfect. The performance. 
that is a, a, a challenge because we have PowerPC, uh, we have single core right now. Let's see when we are going to get multi core uh, support. And uh, the performance is going to be heated. Some uh, people to are talking about the that our kernel needs TLS support. This is thread uh, storage, uh, thread local uh, storage uh, on the kernel. And uh, this is something that they say uh, we are missing. Uh, but this is something that will hit the performance. If we have something that is working and uh, it is done slow, we are going to talk with uh, the kernel guys and we are going to try to fix it with them. Uh, make it work within uh, different applications. Let's say that someone needs to create uh, an email client that we all uh, need, right? And you want to have the side of uh, the rendering of a HTML file. This is going to be able to be integrated. Our plan is to create the WebKit as a library uh, that will be able to be used uh, on any application that wants to have that features. And also, use feature features like uh, extended memory, multiple cores, and hardware acceleration, especially for um, uh, machines that have uh, Radeon graphics cards. Uh, if possible, we are going to experiment with that. And uh, that's one place that we uh, have a lot of uh, good developers like, the, uh, like Hans De Root and uh, Daniel Musener who are uh, uh, experts on this stuff. And uh, having multimedia working well because if we, if we release something, the first thing that people are going to, to ask, is it working with YouTube? <laughs> can I see my videos and can I see 720p or 1080p? Working fine, yeah. That is going to be uh, a tough thing. And a lot more. Achievements. As I said, we started back in two, uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Uh, but we already achieved some things. Uh, here you can see uh, a screenshot of the, uh, for the GCC, the Add Tools uh, repository that there is on GitHub. And there was a, a bug for two years. We, uh, Ryan worked quite hard on that and we managed to fix it and we already had a pull request for that and it is already merged. For GCC 11 it is fixed. It remains only to, to apply that for other versions but it is already there. Um, we already created the uh, Docker-based development environment. The, the idea behind that and it is crucial because we try, we want to have uh, uh, an automated way to build newer versions of WebKit and uh, a cross compiler based on uh, Docker can be used in pipelines on GitHub or wherever we want. And uh, let's say that we you go and do some changes, uh, commit all these changes, and that is going to start automatically building uh, the new version. And somewhere we might have a nightly build for anyone to use. Uh, we are using the latest CLIB2. This is something that is open source and people are working on that, especially uh, uh, Andrea Palmate, who is, it is his creation right now. And uh, uh, we already uh, using that. And the latest uh, SDK 54.16 uh, that was released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and also we are using native, uh, no, one of the first things that you have to do before you start working on the port of the WebKit is to actually learn how to compile it on uh, x86. We did that and it is working fine. So what are our next future plans? We need to finalize some tests on that build for x86. That gives you uh, the, uh, it makes you more confident that the setup you have is working fine. So you are good to go with the port. Uh, port necessary libraries. Uh, there are a lot of libraries that WebKit is using for JPEG support, for encodings, for different stuff that we need to, to port them, at least the latest versions, if possible. Um, we will start then to 
do actual porting on uh, the WebKit, which is the web core and the JavaScript core. Those are the two biggest parts of the WebKit that we need to address. And uh, along the way, we need to uh, update the new CLIB if needed in any, in any place. Up the, the pipeline, which is the automated way to uh, integrate changes and uh, make new uh, 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 builds. And also create a basic web view th that wins, what I said earlier, the, 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 simple, the simplest version of a browser uh, using that WebKit. Also, we are going to cooperate with XXSG for the TLS problem that we uh, need to uh, implement, be implemented in the kernel. I already had a discussion with uh, Steve Solly, who is here today, and uh, he's uh, enthusiastic about that, so we are going to work with them. And um, then, if we have the WebKit already done, the thing is we need a browser, right? The browser is the rest of the things of the program. The buttons at the top, the, the URL uh, uh, string bar, uh, the bookmarks, and all this stuff. Our team, uh, I don't know yet if we are going to, go, uh, to create that, or other teams are going to come over and say, okay, give us the library of the WebKit, and we are going to create the, the browser. Or we are going to use the Odyssey browser and that part of the code, or even uh, maybe we can cooperate with the iBros uh, team and uh, release an iBros uh, 3, which is going to use the WebKit. That might be possible. We don't know about that. So we need, in the future, to form a team about the browser and only the browser. Uh, find the browser name and the, loca uh, the logos. Create a block site for communication, the progress. This is something that we are discussing even from now. We need and we want to have a, a vice versa communication with all com the community and what are our plans, what we are going to do, what we succeeded and all this stuff. And of course, document everything in the uh, project wiki page. That's pretty much the initiative. Uh, that's pretty much what we have uh, right now. Um, this is the first uh, URL is the uh, project as analyzed and uh, what we are working currently on GitHub. Uh, there are uh, tasks and things that people are working on. The second uh, URL is also the GitHub uh, uh, fork that we are using. And uh, some contacts for me if you want to contact me on, at any time and uh, discuss about anything. Uh, I would like to, to thank you all for uh, here. And if you have any question, I would be happy to, to answer. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>